Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're going to take a look at how to create a video library on our computer, um, mainly by by taking a DVD, Blu-ray, and storing it on our computer. Um, now, you know, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you'd want to do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could always go and pop the DVD in, um, or Blu-ray, whatever it is. Um, but let's say you got a DVD and yeah, you've got a uh, you've got a DVD drive on your on the on your main computer, but your laptop doesn't, um, or you know your tablet does not have uh, does not have a, a DVD player on it. So you know, let's get that movie that you've bought uh, into a format that uh, that you can use on all your devices. Um, you know, so that might be one reason why you would want to go and uh, and and do this. Another is just for the simple fact of having a backup. Uh, those of us that have kids, you know that, as a general rule, most kids do not take care of DVDs. They end up getting scratched and whatnot, and then you can't play them. You got to go and replace them. It's nice to have a backup. Um, so you know, this is uh, you know this is nice for that. And then maybe you're creating a home entertainment center, a home server, so that you know no matter what device you're on, you can connect to that home server and watch all the movies that are stored there. So you know there's a bunch of different reasons. Um, you know I'm, you know I I don't particularly approve of you know going and pirating movies and and copying them and and whatnot but if you've gone and paid for a movie um you should be able to go and make up a backup for yourself or convert it to the various formats so that you can watch it on whatever device that you've got so uh you know long story short that's what we're going to do today um for a long time i just used handbrake but a lot of the encoding that has been done recently uh, to prevent copying, um, handbrakes not able to get around it. Um, how so? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be essentially using two um, two pieces of software in conjunction to uh, to get a final product. First one that we're going to use is this one right here called Ake Make MKV, and and long story short, it'll take your your DVD or Blu-ray, and uh, and put it on your hard drive, and it will be in the MKV format. Um, now, if you're running VLC on your computer, uh, VLC will will play MKV format just fine, as will a bunch of other players. Now, if you need to get it into MP4 format uh, for you know various devices that's where um, that's where handbrake's going to come in we can go and then take the file that make mkv has created for us and convert it into mp4 format um, for our other devices so okay, here is the make mkv homepage i will leave a link down below I will also leave, uh, for those of you that are on Ubuntu-based distributions, here is a PPA that, uh, that will allow you to install the latest version of M Make MKV so that you can do that. Let me get that out of the way. If you are on a Arch-based distribution, this, uh, both this and Handbrake are in... Uh, are in the repository so no problem on those distributions and uh, um, you know I'm not sure on uh, OpenSUSE I'm pretty sure that uh, that there's a way to get it on Fedora um, I'd have to go and look that one up though but at least on the uh, on the end of Ubuntu based and, and Arch based you know no problem there so anyway uh, very easy to uh, to do let me pop a DVD in the computer here and uh, show you how we do this here uh, interface is very simple you can see I've got it open up right here um, give it a second to load up
Okay. And you got a few options up here. Um, some preferences, uh, open files, you got uh, how you want to view things, uh, and a couple options there. But anyway, where it says source right here, just click on that. Oh, wait, no. I'm um, sorry. Click on the DVD, what looks like the DVD player itself. Um, give it a second to go and scan that DVD and process for Blu-rays is exactly the same. Okay, and for the DVD it'll list all of the titles um, you know, if you only want one of the, you know, say one of those uh, copied, you can select that. I'm going to do the whole thing. Output folder, select where you want it to go. I'm going to go, I've got a movie folder I'm working on right here. Click create, and we'll call this Star Trek. And there we go. Just click Make MKV now and just wait. I think last DVD I did, it took 15 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video until this is completed and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so we are back. It took you know roughly 12 minutes to, uh, to get our MKV file. Let me go and close that up and we will go and let's open up our videos here and we come right here to this Star Trek file or folder that I made and you can see the three three uh, files and basically what you know there's three on there because that video or that DVD had besides the main movie it had um, uh, some you know how the movie was made that kind of thing uh, video let me see I think uh, let me look at the properties here uh, yeah, that's the main movie, so I'm going to rename this Star Trek. Okay, and now we will convert it to uh, our MP4 format. Now, like I said, if you run in VLC on everything or, you know, there's other media players that will play MKV files just fine. The next step here isn't needed, but uh, uh, some video players are kind of picky. So let's open up Handbrake. And drag it over here. All right, lots of options with Handbrake, um, but uh, you know I'm just going to stick with uh, the default high high profile um, uh, rendering. Now, first we're going to go to click on Source here, and uh, of course I've already been looking at this, but uh, we want to go with the Star Trek MKV file. And it'll kind of give you a summary of, uh, you know, what's going on on this on this particular page. And then you can scroll through here if you want to go and make changes uh, as far as how the rendering goes and how fast the decoding goes and all that kind of stuff. Um, your audio defaults, subtitle defaults, subtitle list. And, and uh, there's your chapters right there uh, so that you can modify all that. I'm just going to stick with, like I said, I'm going to stick with um, the high profile there and, um, you know, just rock with that. And so there's what our file is going to be. You pick your format over here. We're going to go with the MPEG-4 format. No use in picking uh, the Matryoshka. Uh, format because that's what we're already in. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, you can pick the iPod 5G support if you necessarily need it. You can click Web Optimized, um, which we don't need here. 
and uh, you can pick where you want the video to be stuck into or you know what file folder let's click other and go to double click videos and put in my movie file click open and we're gonna click start and that's it just let it go and it'll do its thing and uh, essentially that's it just wait for it to do its thing now um, handbrake does take a lot longer to run than MKV so uh, I'm not going to sit here and wait on this thing uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the video so um, essentially that's it after this you can you know sit back and watch your movie um, so if you got any questions comments all that kind of stuff leave that down below and uh, please subscribe if you are not a subscriber give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next video thanks a lot